Let us stand in reverence to the word and let us turn to the sixth chapter of Isaiah. We will read verses 8 through 13. When you get it, say, still saved. As a reminder, please, after service, let me read with deacon, deaconess, minister wives, mothers. Let me also talk with the ushers as we get on proper footing for our ordination service. Okay. Isaiah 6 chapter, Amen. beginning with verse 8, mm -hmm. reading to verse 13, when you get it, say, still saved. Still saved? Still saved. All right. Verse 8 says, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here I am. Send me. Hallelujah. He said, Go and tell this people, Be ever hearing, but never understanding. Be ever seeing, but never perceiving. Make the heart of this people calloused. Make their ears dull and close their eyes. Glory to God. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, Ooh, glory, glory. understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. Then I said, for how long, Lord? And he answered, until the cities lie ruined and without inhabitant, <laughs> until the houses are left deserted and the fields ruined and ravaged. Yes, Lord. Until the Lord has sent everyone far away mm -hmm. and the land is utterly forsaken. Amen. And though a tenth remains in the land, it will again be laid waste. Mm. But as the terror bent and oak leave stumps when they are cut down, so the holy seed Hallelujah. will be the stump in the land. Amen. Lord, add a blessing to the reading oh, and to the hearing of this most holy, holy word. Mm -hmm. On this ordination Sunday, all right, all right. our sermonic theme today is you must tell the truth. You must, must tell, tell the truth. The mm -hmm. truth. I like that balance. On this day of celebration, we face as a family the ordination of deacons. Ordination is not simply about the honoree. No, it's not as much as it is about the family presenting the honoree. This is a joint effort that goes before the Lord That's right. for God's authorization and proclamation Amen. in order that the historic moment may be set forth that God has performed another miracle. Yes, he did. The scripture in Isaiah captures and reminds us of the beauty of the call of God. Oh, to have witnessed the a wonderful worship service that Isaiah was involved with, with the angels and the proclamation in the temple mm -hmm. to come down to one specific question who will do it mm -hmm. right. who will go and then the historic answer that has reigned for centuries in all of leadership here i am in me. All right, all right. 
It also focuses church on the new leader by ensuring that they will have the fortitude to maintain the journey that is before them, but more so for the family that receives them, that they will have the fortitude to be within God's obedience. The, the question, church, is significant because Isaiah himself will face challenges of which he was unaware. Mm -hmm. His step into the temple was not a step into a calling. It was merely an act of worship that then was manifested into his elevation to profit. Mm -hmm. He would face the challenge of telling the truth. He would look and point his own people and tell them that they would be judged okay. for death. Mm -hmm. He would have the ability to excite hope in the midst of tough and difficult circumstances. Right. Or he would boldly go to them and say your actions are evil. God is not pleased. And if you don't get it together, you will be judged by him. Spiritual leadership calls for action. And it is the call of God upon the leader's life Amen. in order that his will may be seen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Say it now. The tension among leadership is the same tension faced by Isaiah. That's right. Yeah. It's not that he was just elevated, mm -hmm. but he was placed over an ungrateful people who didn't want to hear the truth. Amen. Oh, wouldn't it be nice, church, if you're dieting and the pastor comes up here and says, there's this new diet okay. that involves you eating 12 sugar donuts a day. Amen. Come on, talk to me, somebody. We can get Krispy Kreme group coupon. Okay. And we all going to lose weight together. Okay. We would be on it, wouldn't we? Amen. We would, the pastor said, get these donuts and we can lose weight and we'll do it. Amen. But if the pastor says, stop sinning. Oh, glory to God. Stop gossiping. Oh, stop God. adultering. Hey. Stop stabbing one another in the back. Hey. Stop treating one another like, like you're lower than dirt. Woo, Jesus. Then there's a question of weight. The brother's going too far. <laughs> yeah. Glory to God. Come on and talk to me, church. Glory to God. Speak the truth. When leadership speaks the truth, there is a tension that occurs That's right. amongst the people. It is. Because most people really don't want to hear the truth. Hallelujah. Let me live in my sin. Yeah. I was doing just fine before I started Woo. going to church. Jeez. And then we'll avoid going to church because you don't want to hear about a sinful life. Oh. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Glory to God. The most oh, high. Is the concept, church, of understanding that, that the scripture proudly proclaims that the harvest is plenty. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, but the laborers, laborers are few. Yeah. Oh, yeah, people will show up to work thinking that they can handle the responsibility. Yes, oh, but when they see the work that takes place in it, mm. they back off and quit and say, no, this ain't for me. Let this be for somebody else. Yes, Lord. That's why, church, the, the understanding of a call and the nature of being spiritually Hallelujah. gifted is clear in what we do and what we are called to do. Mm -hmm. It 
needs to be very clear, church, that call is substantiated through the struggle required to make it work. If a person is called to, to something, you best believe that you're going to have to struggle through it. That's right. In order to complete the That's task. Right. Amen. Oh, the struggle can be so dynamic that the person will begin to doubt, why was I called in the first place? Come on and talk to me, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. There are those of us who used to come to church and leave right after service. I call them the peace crew. Come on in and after service, peace. I'll see you next week. Then there are those of us who got called in to help out, get in certain meetings. Now we part of leadership. And now we get beat up on. We want to go back to being part of the peace crew. Once the benediction is over, peace. We out of here. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. The peace crew don't have a responsibility for nothing. Okay. All they have to do is say peace, and we'll see you next week. Okay. Come on, talk to me, somebody. We we gotta put some deacons through today. Yes, 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 yes. The true nature of Christian struggle requires a tension amongst us. Yes, Lord. It requires a, 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 a calling. It requires some discomfort. Jesus. Jesus, you know, Lord. Or else you're not in the right place. That's right. Amen. If this is easy for you, then you're in the mm, wrong you're place. You're in the wrong place. Yeah, if this is if this, if this is easy for you, you're in the wrong place. Call does not matter on who your pastor is. Okay. Right, right. You cannot have a pastor and you still responsible for call. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Call does that matter who your deacons are or who your leadership are. You perform no matter what because God told you to. Hallelujah. Do. God said. Isaiah, it didn't matter whether it was Babylon, Persia, or Rome, mm. he still was going to have to serve. That's right. And he still was going to have to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, church. It's, it's indicated in, in the Bible. And, and, when, and when we see, look, look, Abraham was called to uncomfortable Amen. surroundings. Yeah. He had to leave the comfort of where he was. And then go to a land of which he knew not of. Well, well. Joseph the dreamer at an early age. Yes, Lord. He, he, he would be forced to face the ire of his own brother. Yes, right. Jailed and in prison. All because of the visions that were placed yes, upon Lord. him. Yet then made to stand to secure the resources of an entire country. That's right. And yet have no bitterness for the people who had thrown him in the Hallelujah. well and jailed him in the first place. Hallelujah. Call. That even though you've been persecuted, still you love. That's right. Moses was just an ordinary shepherd. Happy to be moving on with his okay. life. Enjoying his wife. And making some good money. Thank you, and then Jesus. God set that bush on fire, okay. and things was never the same for him since. Come on and talk to me. Okay, Dr. Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, David was the young boy who was anointed, having fun out in there with the sheep, no killing the lions and the wolves. He was a praiser, just praising God, writing poems. They loved him in the court. But when it was time for him to be king, now he's running through the wilderness like a common criminal of people trying to take his life. He wished he could go back to just saying peace. Okay. I'm out of here. Come on, talk to me somebody. Jeremiah spoke to a hostile group that desired yes, to take Lord. his own life. Ezekiel <laughs> spoke to dry bones, a Keep representation up. of people who were blind and deaf to hearing the word. Even the three Hebrew boys who were called to stand for the Lord, even in the midst of a fiery furnace, who proclaimed, hey. look here, whether we burn in this thing, whether we get out of here alive, I'm still not bowing down to you. Oh, are you ready for call? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready to live the life and not become frustrated at the pettiness? Yeah. But keep your eye on the cross that brought
brought you here in the first place. So what somebody sitting in your seat? So what somebody parked in your place? This is about the salvation of souls. Are you ready for it? Praise his name. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. He's helping you. Help us. Yes, yes. Look at it. Look at it, church. Go, go to verses 9 and 10. Amen. Look at the challenge that my brother here would face. Be ever hearing, but never understanding. Mm -hmm. Be ever hearing, but never perceiving. Mm -hmm. Make the heart of this people callous. Mm -hmm. Make their ears dull and close their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their ears, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. Oh, what's the scripture saying? Look, 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 look here, church. Church, his Sunday experience is over with. Okay. Yeah, he, he had been in the temple with, with all the music and all the glory of, of, of life and all of it there. But now he got work to do. Yes, Lord. And see, sometimes when you find out the mission, you want to go back and say, wait a second, Lord. Did I really say, here I am, send me? Yes, yeah. yeah. no, no doubt. What I meant to say, well, here I am, send him. Yeah. No. Here I am, send them. Yeah. But please take this away from me. No, because you're about to send me into the chaos of my own people. And sometimes, like I say, even after or the ordination for our deacons, even after all of us enjoyed, there's work to be done. There's work to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the glory, sometimes you got to remember the glory of the moment in when you got ordained and the glory of the moment when you got called. Because that's going to help you on this journey. Because some mess is going to pop up where you're going to need to remember when oil was put on your head. No, he did it. Because he did it to me. Oh, help me. Holy Ghost. No, he didn't. No. Yes, you got to go back. Oh, I got to do it at time. I got to. Shoot, when I first got saved, I told you, I thought I could put my hands on anything and it'll get saved. <laughs> I put my hands on the sink and that sink is saved. Sight. In the name of Jesus, that sink is saved. Sight. I first got saved, you could have dropped me in Afghanistan. I would have found Bin Laden and put hands on him and got him saved. He wouldn't be dead now. Okay. Sight. <laughs> God need to drop you. Yes, yes, yes. You need the power that sticks with you through the difficult times. Hallelujah. God calls Son us God. in the difficulty of the moment. Saints, look at Job where even David led them into the difficulty of the moment in which they would stand or either they would, either they would quit. Mm -hmm. That's the power of the scriptures yeah. that continue yes. to keep us going. That's why, especially in these times, there's a time when you've got to know your word or else you're going to quit and run away and say, look, let us not grow weary in well-doing. Yes. For in due season the harvest, we shall reap. Yes. If we would, faint not. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Let patience work its perfect work so you may be perfect and complete, yeah. Yeah. lacking in nothing. If God be for us, who can be against us? All good things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and whom are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He will not leave me, nor will he forsake me. Hallelujah. Oh, it's the power of the word at the moment that comes. That a saint has got to remember when they on this journey, when they in their fight, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. There's parts of the call they didn't put in the fine print. Talk to me, somebody. There's parts of the call that when we signed the contract, that there was something missing in the fine print of things in which you would be challenged with. Yeah. But that's good, because if God told us everything that we would deal with, then we wouldn't even come to church. Yeah. Nope, that's enough. If God showed us everything, we'd be out of here like, 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 like mice, mice, just right now. Yeah. Scared. The other side of the call here, church, the final words of this scripture is seen in the redemptive cause of humanity. The called person has to have the vision of a better tomorrow. Yes, they do. 
for that day is dry. A saint with no faith is a dangerous, dysfunctional yes, saint. Yes, Lord. Because they get stuck in today and never see a tomorrow. Glory to God. Weeping may endure for a night, but, but joy, joy come in the morning. It's just, it's just words to a faithless right. saint. It means nothing to them. It's something nice to say, but they can't live it because it's not yes, in the soul. Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Look at, look at the verse says, but as the terrapin and oak leaves stumps, okay. when they're cut down, okay. so the holy seed the holy will be the stump in the land. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's the tenacity of the saint mm -hmm. that weathers the difficult right. moments of life. Look, Isaiah hears of the total annihilation of his land and his people but also sees and given the opportunity for rebirth. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, yes, yes. There's always something at the end. Yes, There's always Lord. a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. A season, you can be in winter, but winter has got to give way to it spring. Has to give way. Spring has got to give way to summer. Summer gives way to fall. Fall will give way to winter. But you know at some point, spring's got to show up again. Just me. Oh, the rainy storm God comes and it can fall for days, but the rainbow still shows and says, it's okay, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. yeah. The cloudy day brings sunshine. The sorrow always gives way to joy. Yes, it does. Yes, 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 yes. God is indicating here, church, that, 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 that the only thing that, that could be left will be a tree stone. That's all. Oh, the symbolism of a street of a tree stump is something that is forgotten and laid to waste. It's, a, it's an eyesore. And when you strive on a block and you see a tree stump, you're like, why don't they just get away, just cut it down and hide it? Why don't they just get rid of it? Because we don't want to see it. And in fact, the mere sight of it is so despicable that we'll hire somebody to go pull it up out the yard. Okay. But his roots are so deep yes, Lord. that you got to put, you got to get a machine to pull that. You can't just grab and put your arm around a tree stump and move it. There's not enough energy in you. The roots run so deep that you got to get some kind of crane or something to pull it up. Out. Yeah. Right, right. God is saying that I will place my holy seed. Holy seed. And what this world considers to be despicable and walked over. Mm -hmm. He's saying, I will find saints that, that, that the world has walked on yes, Lord. and talked about. Yes, Lord. Who have pushed to the end of the line. Yes, yes Lord. I will find saints Christ. that are broken hearted and sick and despised. Praise God. I will take them and I will raise them up to be my nation. Yes, Lord. God is not playing church. He's not. He Amen. said, look, if you don't praise me, I'll find rocks. Praise the rock. Oh, I'll find a rock that will praise me. Because I'm not tolerating, I'm not tolerating non-righteous behavior. Mm. I'm not tolerating a church that is not doing what I'm asking it to do. Hey. I will find a saint who have been out there and been despised, yes. will bring them in here yes, and make Lord. them a king. The oh, Christ did it so well. That woman at the well had all those husbands. Hallelujah. Turned her into an evangelist. Yes. Come on and talk oh, yeah. to me, somebody. Yeah. Took them fishermen who were scared, turned them into great church leaders. Yes, Lord. He found a deaf man and made that deaf man to hear. A blind man could then see. A demon-possessed man running around in a graveyard hey. he had no hope can rise up and hey. testify the that there's a man. Hey. Oh, help me, yeah. Holy Ghost. Yeah. There's a man huh. yeah. to make a way out of nowhere. No way. Oh, there's those yeah. of us worrying not about being a stone. Hmm. Oh, when people mock us, always remember, and I say this for leadership, God will put your enemies, take them and make them your, your footstool. footstool. Oh, glory to God. Yeah. The Bible says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Yeah. Your justice don't have anything to do with God's justice. Yeah. He gonna have the last say. Yeah. We do God's will. We take our, 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 we go on the 
journey. We live up to his will. We do what he says. Amen. Yes. Oh, as we move into ordination, mm -hmm. always remember the wages of sin and death. Yes. But the gift of God is eternal, eternal life in Christ Jesus. Yeah. I know my Redeemer lives. Yes, Lord, He and lives. I know in the end He will stand upon the earth. I'm Let me bless you with this. Look, I love, I said this before, I love studying. The presidents of our United States, mm -hmm. whether good nor bad. Oh, man. They present interesting positions within the, you know, within our history. Oh, Lincoln. Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. my goodness. How do I know? Hallelujah. Look, look, look. The story goes that there was a favor seeker who came to see Abraham Lincoln. Amen. Wasn't the set up like it is now. These were days where the president would have office hours and people right. could come in and talk to the president office hours. Ain't that yeah. something? Yeah. Can you it's imagine like, if our president had office hours now? Let me get in there right now. Let me get in there right now. The the man the man who came to see he 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 wanted a favor and he was clear in indicating to the president that because of his actions. He was what led to the president being elected to the office anyway. So because of his actions, that's why President Lincoln became president. Amen. He was going to tell him, wasn't he? Oh, our president, our president responded like this. He said, so you think you made me president? Yes, the man said. Under providence, I think I did. Well, said Lincoln. It's a pretty mess you done got me into. Okay. No, but I forgive you anyway. So you want to be beacons. It's a pretty mess that we done got you into. You too. But you go with God. Hallelujah. You stay on this journey. That's right. He will not leave you. That's right. Nor will he forsake no, you. Because God has the final say. Come on, let's give God praise for his holy word.